Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy B Lee back again with another video. Tonight, I'm going to um, start the countdown to Halloween 2018 with the first review, which is the original Halloween in 1978. Um, first off, I'm going to just say that this is one of my favorite Halloween movies. Um, the franchise, that is. Um, simply because it's the original. The original is always the best. <laughs> Um, um, as for the movie itself, you know, this movie didn't have like a big budget like today's movies are. So that's really what makes this film unique is that it was done with such a small budget. Um, I think like 200, 300,000, I think. And they were still able to make like a brilliant movie. Um, the story was was amazing and the best thing I like about the story was the mystery about it. Um, I, I like the sense of mystery of okay why did Michael Myers break out? Why is he stalking these teenagers? Why is he going crazy after these teenagers? Like, like what is it about these teenagers that he just wants so bad? And um, that's one of the things I liked about this movie unlike the 07 remake where all of your questions were answered so as you watch the movie you kind of like oh okay he's doing this because of that where in the original you literally had no reason why he was doing this like he was just doing whatever and, and I like that about this movie um the the actor who plays um Dr. Loomis Donald Pleasance rest in peace um did a tremendous job with Dr. Loomis um, Jamie Lee Curtis did a tremendous job as Laurie Strode, the OG Scream Queen. Um, the girls who play Annie, I mean, not the girls who play Annie, but the girl who played Annie. Eh. Um, Linda, eh. Um, everybody else was like, eh, in the movie for me. But those two, the, the main two, um, Donald Pleasance and Jamie Lee Curtis, who are like the all-stars of the movie, and um, as for like the visuals, I, if you if you look closely, like the movie was real dark and blue. I like that. Um, I think that's the what's a class I took, film appreciation. I think that's kicking in because that's one of the things we talk about, like different like tints we see in movies. So. That was one of the tints that like stood out to me. It was like real dark and like blue, and I really liked that. And um, I just think this movie was real unique. Like, given like I said, it had a small budget, and it did so much with just that little. Like, the iconic My Michael Myers mask. Michael Myers mask was done with just a random mask. Cut the eyes out, spray paint in the white, and there you go. You have Michael Myers. That was really dope. Um, but, yeah. Uh, um, what else am I missing? What else am I missing? But, yeah, do... Are, are any of the other Halloween films as good as the original? Um, I have some runner-ups. But... The original, I feel like you just can't beat because that is an, an iconic classic film. So I'm I'm really gonna give Halloween 1978 an A for this because this is one of my favorite films, and plus Michael Myers is just that dude. Okay, Michael Myers is just like a. a like a freak of nature like you can't stop this guy and like he proves that in all his movies like how much he just don't care he'll kill you no matter what and and that's the attitude I like about Michael Myers so that's the review you know if you um enjoyed my review please um drop a thumbs up subscribe comment and share whatever you guys feel and stay tuned for the remainder of my Halloween film reviews um, I, I got my countdown all wrong. I thought I can be able to do like once a week, but now I'm realizing I think I have to do like two a week because I didn't realize October 19th was 
so far, um, so close. I didn't know October 19th was so close, technically. So, yeah, so, but <laughs> I can't talk. So be on the lookout for those, um, reviews. And it's your boy, B. Lee, signing off.